Hi, so here's my Ram Promaster 1500 136 wheelbase low top. It's a 2019. I uh, bought it used with uh, 12,000 miles uh, this past August. It's pretty much just a no frills, you know, hauler of supplies. I got it from Enterprise uh, Car Sales in Connecticut. And yeah, I outfitted it uh, with commercial um, things, uh, like a floor and the sidewalls. Uh, I'm not a really skilled carpenter, uh, so I just kind of chose an easier route, a um, little more expensive route, I would assume. Uh, but, you know, it seems to work for me, and the floor is pretty solid. It's a little dirty right now, but just because I'm in a dusty lake bed uh, uh, on the border of Nevada and Arizona, kind of by Vegas. But anyway, so it's kind of minimal. I don't really have too many fancy things in here. Most things I just kind of, you know, piecemealed it and uh, seems to be working out pretty good. Um, as you can see, I have my bed. It's a 48 inch by 72 bed platform. It's a little, uh, I just made back in Connecticut by a uh, uh, a family friend and uh, so far so good um, the mattress is I got it from a company called Mattress Insiders out of Colorado it was shipped to me it's a latex mattress four and a half inches uh, it's a very comfortable firm mattress um, so not too many sleepless nights in that because it's very 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 comfortable in the back I have the only two windows I have in the actual uh, cabin um, the cargo area or on the, the rear, nothing on the side, on the slider, or on, on this side. Um, and I do have the ability to draw. I put uh, drapes in, uh, blackout drapes. So you just, I didn't do any of the reflectex, I guess that's what it's called. And I just have some blackout drapes. And they're also, uh, they can reflect, they can reflect um, heat and cold and supposedly noise. Although I don't know how true that is. But, yeah, you know, so yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty much, that's what I, I close them every night and they're on a shower curtain I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. So, you know, it's been so far so good. Um, yeah, I didn't do the roof. I kept the roof kind of bare cause I wasn't sure what to do. I was a little concerned about the height issue. I mean, I'm standing up tall right now with a little bit of a lean, but not much. I'm only 5'7", the roof is 5'6", so I really don't have to scrunch over that much to to get out of uh, hitting my head. Uh, doesn't mean I don't want to do something to the roof, I'm just not sure what to do to it. I do think probably some insulation and, you know, another commercial, um, you know, uh, uh, siding will go up or commercial uh, roof will go up and uh, I'll be just done done with it at that point. I don't think I want to put a ceiling fan in because I, I mean, I have this little USB fan, it seems to work well. And I also have something on the side here, um, on the side front windows, which I can, there, there are two vents. I, either side can get a vent. I just only put it in one just to show. But yeah, it's enough a little, you know, small breeze that gets through. And, you know, with the door open, you know, when I'm in the van and the fan going, it's actually not so bad. Um, I don't really plan on city dwelling in this at all, so I don't really need to have the security, I guess, of a uh, roof fan and the doors closed. Um, so that's kind of how I'm going to leave it for now. I mean, I guess you could add a, a fan later down the road, but I, I'm particularly not interested at the time of doing this. But yeah, so got my... I don't have a, a kitchen set up. It's all, you know, from what I took in from my Subaru. I've got two stoves. Um, actually, behind my food, we'll call it pantry. <laughs> so I've got a, a gas and a propane stove, uh, white gas and propane stove. Now, I, I just have the propane stove is given to me, and I just, I still use, I use both. It just depends upon, you know, what mood I'm in. Uh, I'm a Yeti cooler. I didn't have this before. I just had a regular no frills cooler that only kept ice for like two days. This little monster, you put two things of block ice in there and you could be good for about 10 and it's been great. So I set up my table in the open space here. I throw one of the uh, cookers on and um, 
yeah, I just cook right here in the open space and it's perfect and just close it all up and put it back under and I got all this walkable space. One of the neat little things I did was I bought a uh, rotating chair piece. I forget where I got it. I think I got it from Eurocampers.com, which is where I got the uh, uh, window uh, vent from. And I keep all my clothes and junk drawers and bins. Um, let's see. Maybe a little messy, but that's okay. Eh, not so bad. But yeah, everything's in bins, you know. Shoes and whatnot in one and all my clothes in the other and just the junk drawer, running shoes. I got a screen for the window. Sadly, it's the wrong size, so I'm not going to... Or a screen for the, the slider. It's the wrong size, so I'm not going to put it up. doesn't really mean... It doesn't... There's no purpose to put it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Now, I did insulate the sidewalls. Um, mostly I did it, I used a kill mat, uh, for some noise reduction. Um, I can thank a forum for that because I didn't know anything about that. I just thought it needed insulation and someone was talking about, you really, really need to put sound deadening material on the wall. So I, I kill matted, um, the wheel wells, which is important for, I mean, the wheel wells made a terrible, terrible noise. Uh, but the sides I did, you know, kill mat along the whole side. I covered everything under the panels. And uh, and then I put another uh, sound dampening um, and a little bit of an insulation layer from, uh, I think it was Noiko, I think. I don't really remember. But I don't actually, I don't really, didn't really notice a difference with putting that on. But the kill mat absolutely made a huge difference. I would get, while I was driving, I got a lot of pressure waves from the roof. It just sounded like a bass drum going off in the in the van. But as I applied, you know, the kill mat, and it really deadened the noise down. And now with, um, you know, all the stuff in here, all the different angles, I don't hear anything. It's very, very quiet driving now. And, uh, but yeah, um, that's the back. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, pretty simple setup, and, you know, it took me, I'd say... Went from purchase to the van to actually getting on the road about two months. Um, and mostly it was just because I wasn't really rushing to to get things done and, and, and getting out. I was you know back in Connecticut with my folks. And uh, so it was a pleasure to spend my time with them um, as well as, you know, putting this van, you know, together casually. So, but I think, you know, for what I need at, at this time, it's good. I don't have any complaints really, you know, um, the gas mileage on the pro master for me, I have the one with cruise control. So when you're on the highway, I get, you know, believe it or not, you know, I don't go fast. I do about 65. Um, so that, you know, makes a lot of people mad out West cause you know, the average speed limit 75, 80, but I get around 24. So that's pretty good. Um, going up hills, nah, not so good. Going around town, this the typical van mileage, but highway is very, is very efficient. I think compared, I mean, it was just what I had in my Subaru around 24. So yeah, um, that's not so bad. Um, so that's my van. I don't have a name for it yet, but that's okay. Yeah. It'll come to me. All right. Thanks for watching.